we have our two machine server O2 is our first server in the forest with an IP address of 10 0, 0, 0, 2. So I will disable fire, firewall just to make sure that I am able to join the other machine to the server to the domain. So Okay, as you can tell, now the server is able to see the new computer that is Win 22QQXQLNF and the host computer that is Lisi and itself. We're going to set up the new server. The, verse, the first thing I'm going to do is to give the server an static IP address. I am also going to give this server a class C subnet mask and I will point the DNS server to the first server that we configure that has an IP address of 10 0, 0. I also have to disable firewall firewall to make sure that the servers see each other. My server name is going to be server05 Before I join the server to the domain, the server has to join the work group I will check for communications between the server using the ping command as you can tell the server of phi is able to look and has a communication with the server or two
because of that I am going to and it's safe for me to join the machine to the domain to the domain right now I'm going to reboot the machine and when the machine comes back we're going to join the machine to the domain to check my settings I have DNS server 2 is my DNS server and my DNS event I, I have no conditional forward yet I have all my records. The new host A record. I have the new alias record. The new mail exchanger record. Everything looks very good. So I'm coming back to server of five. We are ready to join our machine to the domain. It does work fantastic. Now we have two machines joined to the domain and with this my demonstration is done. 
I would like also to point out that when using virtual box is very important that when you clone the machine you have to reset the SID identification number in my next demonstration we're going to reset the SID of a computer or a clone computer when so we can join the machine to the domain thank you so much i see you next time